All right, everyone, so welcome back to the channel. Here we are another day. Today is mail day. Hopefully you guys will enjoy this episode. Uh, kind of a smaller mail day. I know we are currently kind of in a lockdown going on and a lot of people probably can't get to the post office and mail especially has been very, very delayed. I ordered something online uh, probably like two or three weeks ago. It's been in the process for about a week now. Uh, so if you guys have sent anything and it's not in this mail day, you sent it you know, a week ago or two weeks ago, I do understand the mail itself has been delayed. Uh, if you guys hear any squeaking or anything, there's currently birds that now live in my wall. So it might be therapeutic for some of you, but it's kind of annoying for me. So uh, if you guys hear that, uh, just keep that in mind. But got letters, got packages. Let's get into it. If you guys included a gift with your letter, most importantly, I will be reading your letter on camera. If you guys include just a letter, I will definitely address whoever sent letter. So we have Corey K from Broadway, Virginia. Thank you for that. Uh, Linda S. M from a uh, from West Virginia. I know she sent me a bunch. Thank you for that. And then we have this very very nice letter here from Barbara B in New Jersey, who she actually wrote some translations of uh, the closed captions that are offered on my channel. Now I do not get to choose the closed captions, but uh, she <laughs> she let out a, a bunch of great ones of what the closed captions say on the video. So if you do not speak English, for example, you might have closed captions in your language um, that is translated and for some reason it'll probably translate the wrong word. So uh, that is that. Bev B from Portland, Oregon sent me a letter. I know she included a something with it. So I do actually, I just open up the letters, check if there's anything in there. I also open up all my packages so that we're not sitting here opening up packages for this whole time because uh, it does take a while to sometimes open up some of these boxes. I know there's one box here, which <laughs> it took me about three or four minutes to open it up, but Bev B. I see some Dunkin' Donuts things here. Hi again. Here's two more Dunkin' Donuts for you. They expire on July 31st. They didn't print very good, so I put the car numbers on them. Hope you can use them. Wish we had one here, but probably not anytime soon. My sons and I are okay. Bev from Portland, Oregon. I greatly appreciate this, Bev. Uh, I know you've sent a couple of these in the past. There are two Dunkin' Donuts, like gift certificates. Um, they actually go really, really well. I just, I think I just scanned the QR code and added it to my app. Uh, actually, the reason why I even got this app was because of these gift certificates and the app is great, just like the McDonald's app. It's great, it gives you a bunch of free promos as well, so these do definitely work and I greatly appreciate it. We have one here for $5, I think this one said $10. So one for five, one for 10. Thank you, Beverly B from Oregon. Greatly appreciate the Dunkin' Donuts gift cards. Uh, gift certificates, they definitely go to good use. So greatly appreciate that. Here we have one for, uh, this is Shaggy Season for Salsa and then Open Now. I think this is uh, Cactus, Cactus Kobe maybe. Okay. Hey Taco Stacks and Salsa May, I suggest salsa the chopped kind, which is mostly tomatoes and onions, mild, and sold in plastic tubs, chilled. In the fruit and vegetable section, Lancaster is my favorite brand. Made at ShopRite. Good idea. I totally forgot about that kind of salsa. It's kind of like the salsa I think you'd get like at Moe's or Chipotle. Um, it's like, it's cold. It's cold salsa. It usually has onions. Did you say onions? Yeah, you said onions and tomatoes. That's exactly what it is. Uh, and some might have corn in it, I think. Um, so that is that. Uh, salsa sheds too much and watch Husky Coat Blowout <laughs> on YouTube. There's the birds. That really didn't do much. All right, so I collect old black and white photos from people doing random things. Do you ever sell them? The photos are from 1920 to 1960 on paper with a white border. So here are people just doing random things. Maybe in a hospital bed? Who knows? That is kind of... <laughs> this is Mr. Orange Slices, a little drawing from Mr. Orange Slices. Uh, Orange Slices has sent me a couple messages on Instagram recently. He's uh, he's good for a couple trolls now and then. Do you like French Bulldogs? Buy for you salsa named Chips, of course. I do like Bulldogs, French Bulldogs. They are a very cool, cool looking animal, a cool looking dog. Um, I do like their breeds. My college roommate, that was his dream dog, or my college housemate. When I lived in a house in college, he, uh, he always wanted a Bulldog and then 
Just the other day, he actually posted a photo on Instagram or on Facebook of uh, his Labradoodle or Golden Doodle. So I guess he didn't get a French Bulldog, but very, very cool. I think this is Cactus Kobe, your number one stacker in Delaware, Cactus Kobe. So thanks, Cactus Kobe, for that. I know you definitely sent the package as well. Uh, greatly appreciate it. Always good to hear from you. Uh, and I'll probably give the drawing the orange slices when I get around to it. J, J, K, I don't know if this supposed to be J's, J, J, from Spring, Texas. All right. Uh-oh. Dear Talk Possessed, I've only been wanting to send you a little something to say thanks for letting me ride shotgun with you of all your adventures. I never miss one of your videos. They are always great adventures. So it just happened that right after you bought your new van, I found a perfect thing to send you. I've never seen anyone else send you one of these, and I want to give you a laugh. I'm a native Texan, a Houstonian, actually, so I can honestly say I don't know what the good folks of Lubbock were thinking when they thought making taco-shaped car air fresheners that smell like coconuts was a good idea. But I laughed my butt off, and I hope you do, too. I am lolling very much here. So this is this is peace, stay safe, and well, and your family, too. J, up bow 47. So these are air fresheners shaped in tacos. So we'll... I just noticed something. My van doesn't have a center mirror. It didn't come with one because there's the back windows are blocked out. So I thought it was my Jeep. I guess that's what I have to do. Unless I can uh, find another place in the van where these would go that you can kind of hang up. They got two air fresheners. They apparently smell like coconuts. Who knows? Thank you, Jay. Uh, greatly appreciate it. They'll probably be going in my Jeep. I think they will be definitely something funny. Coconut does have a good smell. Actually, I'm not a fan of coconut, actually, the flavor, but the smell I do like. So that should be good. We have a postcard here uh, from Sweden. I wanted to show that little picture of Sweden. Green from fan in Sweden. Keep up the good work with the videos on the postcard. You can see a traditional Swedish midsummer celebration. Johnny. Johnny from Sweden. Got to tell you, I think this is from Sweden. That is one country in the top, like, maybe three or five countries I want to visit. If I ever do world travel, or well, definitely Sweden. Um, that is one country I definitely want to visit. Uh, this one's from Caden D. in Grayson, Kentucky. Hey, Talk Stacks. My name is Caden. I am 15 years old, and I love watching trash picking videos. That might be a five. Uh, I love watching your trash picking videos. I look forward to your videos every week. I know this is weird, but can I ask for an autograph? I just want to write you and hope you would write back. And he included a $5 tip. I don't know. Caden, I will definitely send you an autograph as well as a magnet or a sticker. And you will be getting your 5 bucks back. So I greatly appreciate that for the kind words. Caden, uh, I do have your, your address here. Um, so I'll look for that in the mail. I know this was sent April 7th. So don't worry, Caden. You'll be getting yours shortly, probably in like a couple days to a week. I'll get a, get a letter out to you. All right, so now we're on to the packages. We have a package here from K-Van. I don't know where your uh, your address or your... Oh, got to be Montana. That's what I'm going with. Montana. Fun fact of the day, you'll probably hear about this for like the next week, is I'm pretty confident I sprained some ligaments in my wrist golfing. If you guys don't remember, I had that injury from trash picking on my finger. And um, to compensate, I haven't been holding the golf club the right way, and I decided to practice swing, just like full-on blown practice swing, and I just chunked out of the ground and pretty much could have broken my hand just straight into the ground rather than cutting into the ball, and it it hurts. <laughs> it hurts. So like even like holding this and like pushing downward, anything I have requires a push, a pull, or a random jolt is pretty, uh, pretty upsetting. Oh, got a plate. Bum, bum, bum. Taco stacks, here you go. One from Montana. Enjoy watching videos. Take care, brother. Craig from Billings, Montana. Thank you, Craig. Big Sky, farm boy. That's a great, that's a great license plate. That is a great license plate. Thanks, Craig. Really appreciate the license plate in Montana. I always love their design. Farm Boy, a little bit different. A little bit different of a name on that. 
I don't know if you're a big farmer yourself, but uh, Montana is a, is a pretty big state. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of farms and cows, uh, not cows, horses. Is that right? Am I thinking? Maybe I'm thinking Wyoming. I think Montana's like that as well. Thank you, Craig. Thank you for the license. Pre gra greatly appreciate that. Here we have a package from Japan. This is from Christian L. in Tokyo, Japan. Uh, we got all sorts of random stuff from Japan and I have no idea about any of it. Wow, there's everything here. No letter in there. I see the sun just went away. This is from Christian. Do you have a letter in here, man? Is it in here? That looks like money. There's no way there's no letter in here. sun went away. We have all sorts of stuff here and I did not see a letter. Well, Christian, greatly appreciate the package. We'll go through whatever is, is there's some, some random things here. <laughs> this smells so good. Black tea plus royal jelly soap. Doesn't show up on camera. In Japanese on the back. Very, very cool. I don't know what this is. Looks like a doorknob or like a spinner. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> Christian, I don't know what that is. This looks like more soap. This is soap. Focus. Another nice box of soap in Japanese on the back as well. We have... Some sort of food, like a candy most likely. I can't read it, so I... I don't know, it looks like sushi, but it might be a candy. I love these like odds and ends, because it's like, I have no idea what it is, and it's still kind of really, really cool to me. This one looks like a magnet, Japanese magnet. Christian, greatly appreciate that. And it looks like another thing of soap. This says the cologne of the... Minims, small little soap. This might be a fan. Ooh, very cool. It works. Got a nice fan here. This is a bottle of some sort. Ooh, brown bottle. We an antique bottle. I don't know. Nice brown bottle here, an amber bottle. We have a USB drive, a USB drive, and another magnet. Very, very cool. As well as what is in here? What's in this box? Ooh. Modern timepieces, a nice watch. Surprised I didn't even think this was a watch box. It definitely is a watch box. So Christian, thank you for that. Awesome. Greatly appreciate the items from Japan. I don't know if you live in Japan full time, if you're visiting, very, very cool to ever get something international as well. We have some old money here. This is Chanel, but it's a coin. A silver coin, it looks like. Jap Japan World Exposition, 1970. Very cool. Always love these international coins as well. Uh, and then we have an old $5 bill and a new $1 bill, 1969. So it's not really that, that new. It's kind of old, a little wrinkled on the end, but this is still very acceptable. I do miss it when uh, when bills look like this. Uh, that, that's 1969 as well. So 
Greatly appreciate the money, the gifts as well, Christian. Uh, hopefully all is well in Japan. I was looking at the package, trying to figure out when you sent it. I think this was sent late March. It was on the box. It did say something like 12.03.20. Uh, but that would mean that, oh, that's March 12th. Very cool. Christian, greatly appreciate all the wonderful gifts here. Awesome. I'm going to see what this tastes like off camera. Hopefully it does taste good. It's going to be one of those things where like you expect it to taste like something and it's probably not going to taste like that. So just going to be really crazy, uh, really crazy sensation. So I greatly appreciate that. Thank you for all the wonderful gifts. Thank you for the bottle, the bunch of soap, the watch, the fan. Hopefully all is well in Japan for you. And thanks again, Christian. Greatly appreciate it. Moving on, I know the, the lighting, oh, there we go. The lighting seems to be kind of weird sometimes. Uh, this one is from Cactus Kobe. King Kong? Here's a friend for Mr. Frog. Because <laughs> I have Mr. Frog in the hallway. Mr. Ape will have goodbye stacks. Uh, Mr. Ape stacks will wave goodbye every time you leave to go picking garbage or to flea market. They'll keep salsa company while you're gone. Have you ever wondered what treasures are right underneath your feet in your lawn? I bet stackers worldwide would love to see you use a metal detector all over your lawn. They're easy to learn and use. Plus, it'd be very, very exciting. Take care, Cactus Kobe. Cactus Kobe, thank you for this. Thank you for the uh, the grill. I thought it was uh, I thought it was King Kong. He does move. He's an action figure. Does he have a? He is an Imperial. So he's probably what late '80s, early '90s. I remember I did have Imperial Cowboys. I got at a rummage sale. I had them online for a while, um, and then I eventually just ended up bringing them to Lambertville, and I think Blue Bus Dave ended up buying them. Uh, so that was really cool. In terms of metal detecting. Uh, I have comp contemplated it. The only issue is if you don't find anything, you could spend a lot of hours doing it. And I don't think a lot of people want to watch a video where I don't find anything, or in some cases, might only find a nail or two. So uh, that was definitely a possibility. I think I'll definitely be doing it maybe in the fall or next year around the winter or spring. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that would be definitely a great possibility. Thanks again, Kat Descobie. Here's a package from T. Doyle out of New Hampshire. Oh, make sure there's nothing else in there. Hi, Taco Stacks. Here's a Northampton, oh, Northampton, New Hampshire plate. Last used 1987. Older than you. <laughs> it is older than me. Hope makes the wall. Thanks for keeping us entertained during this time. Me and my husband watch you every day. Thanks again. And Tina. Thank you, Tina. Greatly appreciate it. We have a license plate on here. Tricky, tricky. Oh, that's a cool. Live free or die, New Hampshire. In the old white and green. Thank you, Tina. Greatly appreciate the license plate. Hopefully all is well in New Hampshire. I don't know if I have a New Hampshire plate. This is really mint. So if I don't, this will certainly be going up on the wall. Uh, very, very cool. Greatly appreciate the license plate. Hopefully all is well, Tina, in New Hampshire. Thanks again. Very, very cool. Always like to get plates. I do want to finish the license plate wall. Uh, I do need probably around like 20 to 30 plates more before the license plate wall will be complete. All right. Here we have one from Philip in Dallas, Texas. This one... Put down the floor and salsa's right there, so I hope she doesn't grab it and run. This one is like a binder. What do we got here? Paper. Paper ephemera. Do we have a... We have a letter. I see a golf course score. I see a bunch of paper ephemera and I don't see a letter. Oh, there we go. That's, I don't know what that means. Foy, foy, foy. Your benefit plans at Iowa, Illinois Gas and Electric Company. So this is like the binder I guess they'd bring out maybe for like a manual. Uh, I don't see a letter here. 
but I greatly appreciate an open upside down. We have a live steam, like a steam engine newsletter. Some paper ephemera here. This one is federal requirements for recreational boats, courtesy of Marine. Are these decals? Those are kind of cool. We also have some golf course scores. These are, I've kept all mine from school. I'm not very good at golf. Ooh, Drew, what happened Drew? <laughs> Should I expose Drew? Drew on hole 15 and shot a 22. It's a par four. <laughs> I just stop at eight. That's a good trick. You do the double snowman or the snowman, you stop at eight and you're done. It's from 2003, we have some more. Chad Sheldon, looks like Drew got kicked out around here. I don't know what happened. USGA, Sheldon, I don't know if this is Sheldon's stuff. We got a whole bunch of scorecards. Iowa High School Athletic Association, 1981. More golf cards as well. And we have what looks like a special issue, some newsletter, as well as a Coca-Cola poster. Well, Kodak, oh, Kodak on the back. So thank you, Philip. Thank you for all the paper ephemera. I greatly appreciate it. I didn't see a letter here, uh, but I greatly appreciate the paper ephemera. I will probably keep some for myself, and then the paper moose might take the rest. Uh, depends on what happens with what she wants. Uh, but I'm probably going to keep those scorecards because I'm a huge golf guy. So thank you for that, Philip. Greatly appreciate the wonderful gift. All right, sorry if the lighting has been on and off. I'm sorry, I greatly apologize for that. That is just something with, I guess, the sun going in and out so then the camera readjusts. Uh, but here we have a package from, uh, from Illinois, Western Springs, Illinois. The whole first name got all blurred out. Like it's all, it got wet, it looks like. Looks like most likely some water damage. So it says Cam, and I can't read the rest of so Cam from Western Springs, Illinois. This says open now, and I got it two days ago, so I hope it's all right. Got a letter. Haven't had any cursive yet, so I greatly appreciate that. Taco Stacks, hey Taco Stacks. After seeing your flooded basement video, Bad moments. I remember I had an extra one of these around. I don't know how well these actually work or if it's loud enough to hear from upstairs, but it wouldn't hurt. Rainy season is coming. I want to install a house alarm system with a connect connected water sensor for a basement. These systems can sound a whole house alarm as well as alerts to the cell phone. Oh, but This looks like a classic water, water, water alarm. I think I might put this on maybe like a cinder block in my basement, and then whenever it reaches that cinder block, then we're in, we're in trouble. All right, so that's a great idea. This water alarm offers round the clock detection and warning from costly flooding. Like I don't mind that there's water in the basement, it's not great, but when you're at, <laughs> when you're at the life of like, there's water up to your waist and it knocks out your furnace, it's a little bit tricky, um, but this will at least give me a heads up that I have an hour to go before I'm in trouble. So, greatly appreciate that. Camera, camera shy. Camera shy. Thank you, camera shy. Greatly appreciate that. I'm going to actually put that to good work. Hopefully this thing works. I can see this is some sort of new old stock um, just by the packaging. So, it probably does work. Looks brand new, sealed. Thank you for that, camera shy. Greatly appreciate it. Thank you for looking out for me. Uh, I'll probably install that at some point today or tomorrow. Greatly appreciate that. That actually really helps. Thanks. All right, here's the last package. This one is from R. Wetzel in Massachusetts. So it looks like we have a three-piece combo pack. That's what we're working with. Uno. Dos. I don't know any other languages. It's not great on my wrist pulling this stuff out, but hey, tomato, tomato. And we got a letter, Trace. Let's see, oh, now the sun came back. 
Hello there, Taco Stacks. I must admit, I feel like your first name is Ryan or Brian. <laughs> one million will be announced at one million. Ryan or Brian. Not sure if I'm making that up or you mentioned it somewhere. Anyways, it feels odd to call you tacos. Let's just assume I got your first name right. Anyways, I hope you, Salsa, and your family are doing well in this strange climate. I've been trying to use my time wisely and get my possessions organized. In that vein, I'm sending you some DVDs that I thought would be good sellers, but I've not done what I'd hoped for on eBay. Due to medical issues, I can't take advantage of flea market and yard sales that you often... So frequent, now that things have changed in the climate of the virus, it will make these environments even more difficult for you. I will say after trying to sell these DVDs for about a year, I did take your recent advice and put them back on eBay. You mentioned in one of your more recent videos that some items may sell during this pandemic. Other than one selling, I had no luck with the other selling, and one that did only sold for a dollar. So I already hear that. I do have other items to sell, so I will be focused on them. Anyways, I don't buy a lot of merchandise from people. I figured I would show you my appreciation of you and your channel with this donation. I hope you have better luck selling these DVDs. All of them are new with the exception of one. Stay safe, Ralph W. My handwriting is suspect at best, and we know how much you like cursive, so I stuck with old-fashioned print. Thank you, Ralph. I greatly appreciate that. Always looking out for me as well as my confidence level, because it does go downhill whenever I do read cursive. Looks like we've probably got, what, three DVDs here? This looks like a combo pack of something. Two disc at one low price, George Lucas Director's Cut. THX1138, I've never, never heard of that movie. This one's sealed. So we'll see what that's all about. I might even watch one of these. I'm still trying to kill off some time. Looks like we have two more copies of THX 1138. And lastly, switching it up. Well, that one's, oh no, there you go. Same movie, this one was fulfilled by Amazon at one time. And then this one looks like it's not the director's cut or it's, it is director's cut. Just a, oh, it's not that two disc loader of extras. So thank you, Ralph. Thank you for the DVDs. They will go to good use. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'll find someone who'd want these. I know Pat D's actually bought a bunch of DVDs off somewhere. I don't know if it's a local warehouse or something of that nature, but I'll find a good home for these. I greatly appreciate them, Ralph. Thank you for all the support. Greatly appreciate it. Hopefully everything is going well with yourself and, uh, Thank you for the DVDs, Ralph. Greatly appreciate it. Thanks. All right, so thank you, everyone. Thank you for another Mail Time video. Hopefully, you guys uh, enjoyed this episode. If you guys are curious and want to send any mail, my P.O. Box information is in the description below, so all you have to do is copy and paste it or type it out, or if you want to handwrite it, that would work as well. I'll try to do another Mail Time probably in about three or four weeks. If you guys are interested in sending anything, I can't thank you guys and girls enough for all the support you guys and girls have been giving me for the past couple months as well as the past couple years. Uh, thank you to everyone out here who has sent me something. Uh, it truly does mean a lot. It truly does mean a lot to open up these gifts, uh, even during these times where you know it might be harder to get to the post office. So thank you for thinking of me. Uh, I do appreciate it. Salsa definitely appreciates it. And thank you to everyone who sent something. I, I can't thank you guys enough. So catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. If you guys enjoyed the video, smack the like button, and until next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.